Welcome friends. In this video, we will demonstrate uh, the solution of uh, one problem where the information about the traces uh, is given and uh, we have to obtain the projections. So, we read the statement here. The distance between the end projectors of a line is 200 mm. So, for this purpose, so what we do? So, we draw uh, two vertical lines. Uh, representing the end projectors. So the distance between these lines is 200 mm. So what I do, I uh, just uh, uh, 8 grid spaces away from the first line, I draw the second line. So that is the second projector line. So, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 grid spaces that means 200 mm. The end point A is in HP and in front of VP. So, how much in front of VP that is not uh, given but the point is in HP. So, when the point is in HP, its a front view uh, will be on XY line. So, if uh, point A is on this projector line, so we mark the point on XY line as uh, a dash, it's a front view, so as has been just discussed. So this is point A dash. Now next point we read is, uh, and point V is in VP and above HP. How much above HP is not clear, but it is in VP. If a point is in VP, it, its top view will be overlapping with XY line. So now the end projector of B is uh, the line here. So the point on xy line intersecting the this end projector and the xy line that point is the top view of point B. We represent that by just the small letter B. So this is the point B. Further we read uh, the HT lies on the projector through A and third mm in front of B. So, since the HT lies on projector through A, for the uh, horizontal trace, we know that it lies on the vertical line passing through H dash also. So, and H dash is a point where uh, H dash is always a point on X y line. So, here, so we can say the A dash is representing H dash also and uh, A dash is representing H dash also and H T lies on the projector through A and 100 mm in front of V P. In front of V P, this distance is visible uh, in the top view so, and below X Y line. 100 mm below X Y line. So that is how we represent the point H T. So this point we present as HT. So we change it to by block. And uh, next we read is the VT lies on the projector through V. So and uh, 150 mm above HP. So here again the point B is uh, also v according to the definition of the traces or the procedure standard procedure of the traces uh, because projector through b and the vertical line through v so they both so must be on x y line and uh, so 150 mm 150 mm above hp on this projector through b so we have to mark the point VT. So this point is this point changing to by block and marking this point as VT. So now here this is all the information given to us. How can we draw the projections? Now if you recall uh, the uh, 
using this information so you can move forward so if you recall so a dash if you start with and then b dash if you start with so on this same line extension you will get h dash and also so along this line only we shall get b t similar way so a b when we extend we get b let us put spaces in between so a b when we extend we get v on x y line and uh, further on the perpendicular from h dash we get h t along this same line so these are the collinear points so let me change the color so So these are the points which are collinear. So we will make use of this information. This is the standard uh, thing available everywhere. So A dash B dash in this case because the uh, line is AB so it is A dash B dash. If it is PQ then it will be P dash Q dash or things like that. So now so A dash H dash they are anyway overlapping. So, what is the other thing on mm, this uh, A dash B dash that is V T. So, we can join a line from uh, A dash to V T. So, this is the line on which B dash will also lie. So, we have point B already with us. So, we also know that the B dash point will have will be in vertical alignment with B. So B is the point V T. That means uh, so B, B dash one locus is this line. For B dash another locus is vertical passing through B. So where the two of the loci coincide. So that point definitely is the B dash. That means the front view of point B. So this point is B dash and similarly so we can join ht with this point and we can change its uh, color and we know that now so on uh, so ht bv line so we have a also so and a point on the same lines so we will be able to say and HT so we have A. So this is about the projections. Now about the true length and true inclinations we have standard procedures. So for true length what we do we draw an arc with the center point method take the center at A dash and uh, we have another point here. So type control to get the arc in this direction and we make a dash b dash horizontal like this so this point the end of this arc so that point is b1 dash so let us mark that as b1 dash so this point is b1 dash and we know the vertical passing through b1 dash vertical we get by f8 command so the vertical passing through this is an is a locus of capital P. So we have uh, capital A overlapping with A always. So capital A dash always overlaps with uh, small A dash because the first point one point is hinged. The other point, so we are able to now uh, the the other thing is the horizontal locus of uh, capital B is the point the horizontal line passing through B so that line is XY line itself so that means the point here the B1 dash itself is capital B so we can join that and uh, and here and this point in uh, this line I can change color and this is the true length and this point b1 dash is b itself
so we mark the point b1 dash as capital b also so the true length is uh, equal to so 269.26 mm so we can see here the answer is answer is L is equal to AB is equal to 269.26 mm. So we can change the color here. Now, uh, true inclination about uh, true inclination, you type dim command and then ang for angular so we switch off the snap and uh, then pick the line true length and the xy line and we note that the angle is 22 degrees the angle is 22 degrees so so what we do next is again the text we do and uh, here we say that the true inclination it was the true inclination visible in the top view so in the top view the true inclination is the inclination with the vp that is phi so we call phi is equal to 22 degree so that is the another answer so we will change its color later so now we need uh, angle the true inclination with uh, hp also for that we need to get the true length in the front view also so for that what we do similar procedure we carry out so we make the top view horizontal so arc with center point method center at the point a and uh, starting with point b we draw the arc in the opposite direction control we put in this way we draw the arc so this point is B1. So this point let us label as B1 and from this point which is the end of the arc we draw the vertical by pressing F8 and uh, on this vertical we know capital B dash L9. Another locus of capital B dash is the line horizontal line passing through this. So where the two the of the line coincide so that is the point capital b dash so the point capital b dash is here vt is rather here so when you have uh, new lines coming up we need to see that our labeled points are correctly uh, at, at correct positions so we draw the line from here, pressing F8 again, removing the ortho or switching off the ortho. This way we complete the, we get the another true length whose length is 269.26 mm. So we can change its color later. And uh, now uh, we need the angle. So for that, dim angular so switching of the snap here and here the angle is 34 so we say we can copy here the theta is equal to 34 degree. so this way we specify the answers so now we change the color of uh, all the required things. So we press CH and write by block. So this is how we solve this problem. And this is the thing which is uh, just for our reference. We can remove it. So these are these are also 
the points which were needed now not needed so this is a we completely problem thank you